back to the two-minute drill. This is uh, part seven in the nine-part series we're talking about, about seeking forgiveness. And this is really one of the hardest steps, and I call it consultation. Consultation is really important in resolving these issues because it says to you and it tells others, I'm going to talk to everybody I can who's adversely affected by things. I'm going to talk to the victims. I'm going to talk to the bystanders. I'm going to talk to uh, the other people who have information on this circumstance or even those, even those people that we do not like. Uh, so, so often we ignore them because we don't like them. We don't want them to get recognition. We don't trust them. We don't like them. We don't believe them. But people ask all the time, because these people are going to be speaking out, how are you talking to these folks? I mean, in the most common reaction when we, when we have an adverse reaction from somebody else is, from our friends is, well, are you, have you talked to him yet? Have you asked or answered his question, seen him personally? And we, for some reason we've been raised to say that that makes us look like sissies and chickens, but trust me, you will be hounded until you do it, do it early, and do it often. You can go include these people and the victims and their families and the rest of it in your conversations so you can talk about maybe not the specifics that they're telling you, but the fact that you're doing it is extraordinarily important. Okay, So this concept of consultation is very important and people will be counting who you're talking to and the ones you leave out are the ones they're going to ask about just include people, no matter who they are, and get their input and keep getting it. See you next time.